March is Red Cross Month, and we are learning right now the importance of blood donations through personal stories. For Rutland's Stephanie Schaefer, it was a matter of life or death after surviving a boat explosion during a vacation in the Bahamas. Local 44's Courtney Kramer sat down with Stephanie and has an update on how she's doing. I mean, I definitely would not be here if they hadn't had extra blood. There was no telling that a family vacation to the Bahamas would turn Stephanie Schaefer's life upside down. June 30th, 2018 began on a good note as her family boarded a tour boat to see the island's swimming pigs. But five minutes into it, the boat exploded and it exploded right underneath my seat. Um, so I was pretty much dying at the time and I lost so much blood that I needed transfusions um, pretty much every single day for a really long time. Stephanie suffered broken bones, a spinal cord injury, and two below the knee amputations. Her recovery has been a difficult one, undergoing dozens of surgeries and facing constant reminders of how her life has changed. We are still working on that. It's a long process, but we're going to keep at it. But Steph is a fighter. Less than two years later, she's back on her feet, behind the wheel of a car, and recently earned her college degree in health promotion. Independence and accolades, she says were possible because there was enough blood when she needed it. Now, Steph wants her story to illustrate the need for more donors. You know, they donate blood and they maybe they don't know who it goes to or anything like that. I want them to know that just that act of going and giving is can be saving a life. I mean, it's a really huge gift to someone and they might be in a time in their life where that makes all the difference for them. Courtney Kramer, Local 44 News, Rutland. It's good to see that smile. Stephanie is also doing some public speaking and working on a book detailing her story. For more info on how you can donate blood, go to our website, mychamplainvalley.com.